Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a script that I'm currently, I've been working on. I have had multiple I, I, uh, variations of this in the past, that, and this is a complete rewrite I did a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I'm just realizing there's a horrible spelling error in my, <laughs> in my uh, script. Um, but let's go ahead and have a look at this uh, real quick. Uh, if you go to my, my website, filmsitechris.com, that's Chris the K, you go to the software section, click on GitLab, will bring you to get my GitLab page, and there you can search through, and I have, it's under YouTube subs, uh, so it's uh, the actual direct link to this project is gitlab.com forward slash melex1000 forward slash capital YouTube dash capital subs, and there, it, there's only a couple files, a license, a readme, the old version of this program, but then really all you need is this script right here. And so let's go ahead and have a look at what this does. Let's let's go ahead and run it, and then we'll look quickly. I'm not going to go line for line through the code, but I'm going to explain how it works. So I'm just going to, from a shell or from any type of run, I'm going to run it up here um, in my D menu. All I have to do is type in YT subs and hit enter, and it brings up this window here. Let me make that full screen. And these are recent videos that I have not watched yet from people that I have uh, a subscription list to saved in my home directory, and we'll talk about that more in a moment. So what I'm using here is a program. Let's go ahead and go here. There is a program called SXIV, and I found out about this program through Luke Smith. If you don't subscribe to his YouTube channel, I definitely check it out. It is an image viewer. And you can pass it a bunch of images, and it will, you know, I can go through here. It's just an image viewer, right? So I can go through here, I can hit enter, and then I can uh, hit enter to go out of that, and I can look at each one of these. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the thumbnails from the YouTube videos. But something he pointed out that's very interesting is I can hit M to mark these. And what happens is once I mark them, if I hit Q to quit, it will output. A list of the ones that were marked. Well, now I'm so I'm using this as a viewer to view the thumbnails. But then when I exit out, it's going to pipe the ones I've marked into a playlist and then play them with the MPV. So if I hit Q at this point to exit out of that, it's going to start playing those here in a second. Hopefully, there we go. And so I'm watching this, and I can hit Enter to. Well, I should be able to hit enter to go to the next one, but it seems like one of the videos did not play. I got an error on one of the videos. So if, normally I hit enter to go to the next one in the playlist. I can hit Q to get out of that. And now if I hit uh, YouTube subs again, and let's try that again, YouTube subs. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work on the other one. Um, yeah, it seemed like for some reason the Pomplamoose video didn't play. But let me go ahead and mark this one. Mark it. Again, this is still a uh, in-works project. I'll mark these two here. These two scam school or scam nation ones, or at least one of them is a scam nation one. That's that's one drawback is I don't have the title of the video here, although I can see it once I get into MPV. So I've marked those two. I'll hit Q. And it'll take a second and it should start playing. There we go. Yeah, this one's not. This one's just a magic channel that I subscribe to, uh, and I should be able to hit Enter and it will go to the next. You know, these are basic MPV commands. Uh, it's playing through these, and then if I hit Q, and I, if I was to run YouTube subs again, you can see those videos are now removed. So now let's talk about a little more in depth on how this is working. And I will go here, and let's go ahead and make this full screen. Go to the top. So I set some temp files here. Uh, I set for me again. Mentioned in the previous video. I set my videos to uh, YouTube quality of 22, which is I think 720p. Um, which most people probably would want to change if you, you know, didn't put that in there. It would just play the highest quality. Um, the max number of thumbnails it's going to show is 100. So uh, if we go up here to oldest, I have it looking back and it's checking today's date and going back a week. So it shouldn't show any videos that are older than a week. Uh, and then also I have uh, here in my home directory a sub list. Let's go ahead and, and look at that real quick. So. I'll quit out of this and I will cat what's inside that file and you can see I just have a list of channels so one of the things I didn't want to have I didn't want to have a script that I had to give my credentials to log into YouTube so instead of actually checking who I'm subscribed to in my actual YouTube account I have this text file uh, that leads to um, the video homepage for people. So if I was to go to YouTube, let's again, let's do YouTube and I'll do Luke Smith Linux. 
uh, Luke Smith is again someone I subscribe to. I'll click on his page here and I'll go to videos and this is the URL I want to put in there. Now I have it built into my script that once you download the script, if this script, if this uh, file does not exist, it's going to generate and put in my channel as default. But at any point I can type in YouTube subs and type in edit and it's going to open up that list for me. It actually, uh, I think it's, it's going to uh, also sort, well, when you play it, sort unique. So in case you accidentally put one in there twice, but all of a sudden I can, I can put Luke's channel in there, which is, this is the link to Luke's channel, which is already in here, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I can go ahead and save it in there and it will um, automatically sort through lists. All these removes cannot remove, this could be a little bit cleaner, uh, but once you have put a video into a playlist and you start watching it, uh, anytime you start the script, it's going to remove those thumbnails. So it's trying to remove watched ones that don't exist. Again, I could do this better and I might improve the script in the, past, in, the in the future. This is just something I've thrown together and I'm still constantly working on. Uh, so if you, again, it's on a, up on GitLab. So if you want to make any contributions, any improvements to it, but it also tells me right here, there's currently five videos available because if there were zero, uh, it's going to pop up a message saying no videos to watch. So how does this work? So I have put this in a cron job. If I do YouTube subs and I do update, first of all, upgrade, we'll try to download uh, the newest version of the script from my GitHub page or GitLab page. And so that's how I would update the script. If I made changes and upload it to GitLab, I can update all my machines by running this. Um, that's upgrade, update. What this is going to do is it's going to take that list of subscriptions that I have and go to their video page, look at their most recent videos and quickly check the date on all of them and see if they're less than a week old. If they are, it's going to download the thumbnails to a temp folder on my machine. And that's how I get those thumbnails when I start the thing. So what I have is I have this in a cron job this YouTube subs update and every hour it will go through there and it takes a minute or two to go through all the pages and it adds the thumbnails to a folder. And if we quickly look at, oh, not cat, list, temp, YouTube, uh, thumbs, you'll see that I have a couple of thumbnails and what this is, they're named by uh, the, the date that they were posted, a little timestamp and then their ID. And so when I look at the, the thumbnails, they should be somewhat in order. They're going by the day. So if two videos are posted on the same day, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be chronologically through that day because it's a date stamp, not a time stamp that I have going here, if that makes sense. Um, but basically uh, what I'm doing here is I pipe that into uh, SX uh, IV. And so it will pipe those in there. And that's why every time I run the script, it's going to look at our watched file, which is also in my home directory. So if I cat out YouTube subs watched, these are all the YouTube IDs of videos that I have watched already. So it will quickly try to remove any um, thumbnail that has one of these IDs in it. Again, this video is might be kind of boring. I'm just kind of explaining how this works and I'm realizing how boring it is as I'm talking about it, but I'm going to keep on going. Let's go ahead and go back uh, to our script. Okay. I didn't have it open already. So here I have it. So we have functionality that it's going to, again, I have a cron job that every hour it checks for new videos puts the thumbnails in that directory. So when I start it, it will actually look at the thumbnails. I can choose the thumbnails using SXIV and then I can hit enter. It dumps those into a playlist and then it will start playing them and then remove when I play any thumbnails that are in the watch list. Um, so basically there are different functionalities you can look in here. They're pretty straightforward. We have a function that checks the date of a video, the published date. Um, I have a cleanup function that tries to clean up the playlist and temp files. Um, again, upgrade is going to try to um, download the um, most recent version of that script. And if you have it in a directory, like I keep mine in USR local bin, so you would have to run it as a sudo or root to update that. But if you have it in a directory that's writable, you don't have to do that. It just depends on where you put the file. I have a help section here uh, that needs to be updated because I've added a few more uh, options in here, uh, I believe. And that's that's about it. I mean, again, you, I'm not going into detail on how this code is written, 
Again, I need to fix this little uh, typo here. But that's it. So again, I have a cron job that runs. You can run it as much as you want. I run it every hour. Uh, the grabs from my list on my machine. And again, I, I wanted something that I can just run from the shell that gets all the videos I like watching that doesn't need credentials to log into my subscriptions. Um, and basically I went and just, I just pulled all my subscription channels and threw them into that file and it sort of uniques them so it doesn't matter if you put them in there more than once. Check it out. Uh, again, still working on it, still trying to clean it up. It's a very sloppy code right now. If you look at it and you have any suggestions uh, or commits you want to make, go ahead and check it out. Uh, sorry if this video was a little boring. I didn't want to go into too much detail. And uh, anyway, <laughs> I feel weird about this video now, but I, I'm going to post it anyway. Thanks for watching and have a great day.